the main goal for this project was to try and build a robot that was able to diagnose or figure out when it had been damaged, how it had been damaged, and to recover from that damage. So this work grew out of a NASA pilot project where they were interested in seeing whether we could prototype planetary rovers where if we sent these robots up to, for example, the surface of Mars, and there was a rough landing, perhaps something would break. A leg might uh, break off or a wheel might break off. Could the robot on its own diagnose what had gone wrong? So in this experiment, we were actually telling the robot how many parts it was made up of, these nine parts, so the main body, the four upper legs, and the four lower legs, but the robot doesn't know how those parts are put together. So the robot, for example, could be a snake made up of nine parts put together linearly, or it could be made up of two legs or six legs, so the robot doesn't actually know that it's a four-legged creature. That's something that the robot initially finds out on its own. So it's thinking, if I were a snake put together of eight of these pieces, how would I move? Well, that movement doesn't seem to match my experiences from the real world, so I'm probably not a snake. Let me try uh, acting like a six-legged animal or acting like a four-legged animal. We're assuming that if we have a broken robot that's on the surface of another planet, we don't want it performing hundreds or thousands of actions. We want it to be very careful about the actions that it performs. So we set up this experiment so this robot has a budget of 16 actions. There's only 16 exploratory actions that it can use in order to figure out its own body. And then after it's performed those 16 motions, whatever model it has of itself at that point, that's the model that the robot uses to then rehearse or try out new gates internally. So the gate that, the gate that you see here, this is what the robot came up with after performing 16 exploratory actions. And after those 16 exploratory actions, then it uh, came up with this gate and tried it out on its own. So this is a gate that the robot comes up with and it's not something that we've pre-programmed. And then when it's damaged, it, realize, it starts with a model of itself, so it starts with a description of its own body that it's generated, and then tries to change that model to better reflect its new situation. So for example, that it's now made up of eight parts instead of nine. So after uh, Victor removed the leg, as you saw, now the robot is replaying one of the gates that it came up with uh, after performing again another 16 exploratory actions to figure out how it had been damaged. And in that case, the robot actually did successfully diagnose that this particular motor was missing and came up with that gate that you just saw again on its own. Uh, so there's various directions that we could take uh, with this robot. The first one is uh, in this particular case, this robot only has two sensors to sense uh, how it's moving, how it tilts to the left and right, and how it tilts forward and backward. So another conceptual direction is what are the different kinds of sensors we could put on this robot for, for example, not only figuring out how it's put together, but what is the surface uh, like that it's moving over. So we could have friction sensors. So the next step would be that we don't tell the robot how many parts it's made up of at all, and it actually constructs from scratch a description of itself. So in the larger picture of robotics, I think this is interesting because there's sort of two camps in robotics. One in which um, the researcher assumes or builds a model for the robot and then the robot can use that model. But again there, the experimenter has to build the model by hand. And then there's another camp that's looking at trying to generate behaviors for robots using uh, no model at all. So this is sort of a, a third way, if you like, where we enable the robot to build a model for itself uh, if it feels that a model is necessary.